People join Rotary to do good. Rotary Foundation, the part of Rotary that enables us to finance the projects to do good in the world, is 100 years old this I year. Left. It started it looks like this with only $26.50. One man, one man, thought we should have a foundation over 100, about 100 years ago. With many contributions since then, Rotary has been able to do projects at home and abroad. Rotary Foundation provides a kaleidoscope of international programs promoting peace, goodwill, and understanding. Rotarians can build a better world through the Foundation. It is almost impossible to imagine a humanitarian or educational project that could not be addressed by a Rotary Foundation. One of the most ambitious projects ever aspired to by any organization in the world is the eradication of polio. One person, one person believed it could be done. And so it began. And it hasn't been easy. Now, after more than 30 years, we can actually see the possibility of having a polio-free world. One man inspired thousands of Rotarians over many years with the notion that this could be achieved. Only the second disease to be eradicated off the face of the earth. No other organization has the feet on the ground to inoculate the children of the world where wars are stopped for the day, mountains are climbed, and thousands of children travel to have their life saved by those little two drops of vaccine. Rotary's been around for over 100 years. It is important not to look backward. We must look forward. It's not a time to just share meetings and eating and holding on to ageless traditions. We must anticipate the future and prepare to make forceful, courageous, and imaginative plans. The vision must be to place service to others as our number one objective. None of us should be afraid of change, for change has positive values. Rotary must be on the cutting edge of societal issues if we are to be relevant to our community and potential members. As President John Germ, who will be the president of Rotary International 2016-17 and will be Pat Skip's president, he said, you are being given a chance to motivate, inspire, and direct other clubs to better, more effective, and more ambitious service. Change the world for the better, forever, through rotary service to humanity. Our president said, we need more willing hands, more caring hearts, and more bright minds to move rotary forward. We need clubs that are flexible, so rotary service will be attractive to younger members and recent retirees and working people. We need to seek out new partnerships, opening ourselves to more collaborative relationships with other organizations to achieve more together. And we need to prioritize kind of continuity and leadership. We have to be serving humanity. Every day you serve Rotary, you have the opportunity to change lives. One good work at a time. One day at a time. Next year, it's going to be your responsibility to make sure that we do it well. To make sure that Rotary changes as many lives as it can for the better. Rotary serving humanity. You must be good stewards with the assets you inherit, but challenge the legacies you have inherited. You must be loose open, and perpetually innovative. Leadership is a complicated affair. You will need to create opportunities for people, be a talent developer, a visionary. You will make mistakes. But screwing up is the essence of trying new stuff. You will forget. Edwin Lamb, the extraordinary inventor and the founder of Polaroid, said that innovation was not so much having a new idea as stop having an old idea. 
You can't get new innovative thoughts into your mind until you get the old ones out. But most of all, you will nurture other leaders. Political activist and presidential candidate Rob Nader said that the function of leadership is to produce more leaders, not more followers. Leaders inspire youth. Leaders are optimists. Effective leaders exude confidence and determination that inspires others. It is no accident that you and Skip are the first co-governors, possibly in the world. Working side by side, mirroring, mirroring your mutual talents, you will be able to bring this district forward as we continue after a very successful 2015-16 year led by Pat now past, soon to be past District Governor Jim Fusco. By example, other district leaders will embrace the flexibility that you have shown to be so important to the future of Rotary. Your duties, at, I'm going to ask you to come up now. And so I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. I. Say your name. Hi. <laughs> to solemnly swear, to solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute the office of the Rotary, the office of the Rotary District 7910 Governor. District 7910 Governor. You have shown leadership skills and decision making. During your year in office, clubs will look to you for leadership, support and motivation as they carry out service projects and participate in Rotary programs. Rotarians, look to your leader. Governor Pat and Skip, look to your Rotarians. I predict you will have a very successful year. Congratulations.
now I invite Karen to pin Steve. Each of these people will be moving up one year, so that we have uh, Karen will be governor the following year, and then Steve will follow Karen. that our district does is our governor, governor-elect, and governor-nominee, and when the governor-nominee designee is chosen, they all meet together and work as a team for continuity and good decisions. And I'm, I think this is one of the best teams we've ever had. I hope that now our family understands uh, what we do all the time and why we're busy. And um, but we're uh, we, we just want to thank you all for being so so understanding for us. Thank you, family down here. I think that the uh, the program facilitator is all set. Are we ready to declare uh, that you are? Have one more thing? Or? Okay, so we'll let you declare that. Okay. Okay. Could all the program facilitators please come up here for a few final words? Yes. Yeah. All right, so on Saturday night at the dance, we had a banner that we all signed, and we would like to now present it to Pat and Skip for all their hard work from Ryla. So. today and for letting us have your kids for the weekend. Um, it's been really incredible to get to know all of these very talented, unique, special students. Thank you so much to all the volunteers. Um, you guys were amazing. We had to do much less work than we thought we were going to do because the volunteers did so much work. Um, so before we release to all of your children, one very last thing. Roll call! Um, I think our hearts go out to both 
skip into the past because they have a very big set of shoes to follow. You know, uh, Jim and Karen did a wonderful job this year. They really managed to get out a fiscal movie. Uh, clearly, uh, you know, the, the uh, goals are being set. And I think they have, have still all the capability of taking us further and doing a great job in this year. I'd like to propose and to ask you to join us in the post that perhaps you may have the most fabulous year that we've ever seen in our district 7910. So Captain Skip. And now our Governor Jim Plato would like to say a few words. And then we're going to have cake. <laughs> How much time do I have, Carol? <laughs> okay, they say when you're past this, the governor can talk forever, but we'll see. But first of all, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve as district governor for 7910. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with Pat and Skip on the steering committee, and Karen, and Steve, and looking forward to a great, a great year. I want to personally thank all of the chairs that have worked with me over the past year. Many of them are going to continue on the path to skip. And just, you know, I just add thank you for your service. And please, it was as fantastic a job for them as you've done for me. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for supporting Skip and Pat. Cheers. Oh, and I and I'm sorry. I'm going to be in trouble. I want to thank my wife Karen. Oh, yes. Thank you, Karen. Love you. Thank you. Here, 
uh, he's a Severian brother, brother and uh, he lives at the Severian retirement home in Danvers, Mass. And uh, now Kathy's children uh, are, are here, and uh, all, all three of them. We, we have Kathy's eldest is uh, Julie.
do our best to... Fill your shoes that you have. Yeah, right, right, right. So thank you, everyone. Just stay... Stay in Stay in until midnight if you'd like. <laughs>